Hello and welcome, 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 welcome to Game Guru Max live broadcast under the hood, checking out what we're doing in development world. And this week, uh, first of all, thank you for attending, and my usual intro will be the same as the other 25 times, which is you have the forum now to ask live questions, and I will be most happy to answer them towards the end of this live broadcast session. I won't have time to answer every single question, but I will certainly answer them in order that they were answered. And any ones I don't actually get to answer in verbally, I'll actually post my answers in a Game Guru thread after this show is over and I've recorded it and put it on YouTube so you can check it out with the recording and those extra answers. So that is the preamble. I want to go straight in and show you what I want to show you in the software. Now, a little uh, uh, warning, it's not huge. It's just a little thing, but it's gonna make our uh, future updates much more efficient. But before I do that, and I'm gonna to revert to type, I wanna make sure that everyone can hear me loud and clear. And uh, thank you, Mad Lad Designs, for the first one to say, we can hear you. Great, wonderful, and now I'll continue. So I'm going to run Game Guru Max, the latest version, and very close to the version that you're gonna get this Friday, a Friday build will look like this. Bam. So as you can see, this is a, an announcement screen that you may have seen from time to time, which pops up. But we've basically usurped it for the purposes of our pre-order builds because one of the questions that have been repeated numerous times is, I don't know what I'm testing each Friday. You give me a bill, but I don't know what's in it. You know, please tell me. And another thing that personally annoyed me was that when we did do an update check, so you're running the software and the software check the server, saw that there was an update, I gave you a rather ugly and gaudy message box to click yes or no. And I felt like that ought to be integrated in the software, which is what you're looking at right now now we've had a little bit of internal iteration just looking at this and deciding you know is this another thing we want to release on friday and we have sort of concluded it'd be great if the text was a little bit bigger so for the friday build it could be that this dialogue is a little bit larger and the text a little bit bigger but it'll generally follow the same idea that you will be able to check out the latest version so in this particular case um it's the old announcement from last friday game guru max build from uh, February the 5th. Here's the changes. You can see all the changes. We did the DPI awareness uh, code, some bug fixes, etc. blah, 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 blah. Then re enabled the 2D batching sprites, so more 2D stuff would appear in your um, legacy ports of any projects you're working on in Game Guru Classic. <laughs> and it was mentioned that Lee, people don't know what DPI means. Can you please explain it? So I put in a big sentence description, largely influenced by whatever the internet told me DPI was. So it's a much better description than something I might have been able to come up with. And the benefit of this screen is that you can read the build and say, hmm, this is something that I want to see, and the actual yes, no button is right there in front of you. So you can read on that and say, yes, I do want this build. You can click yes, and then it will go off, and it will use the auto-updater to update your software. And if it's a small build, there's some small changes in that build. The update happens extremely quickly, and then you can rerun Game Guru Max, and then you'll be able to use this build. You'll still be able to see all the build items, so you don't have to remember it all. It's just that you won't see this. You'll just see a continue button where you can go on into the software. So those are the things you'll be able to see this Friday, but instead of this text, you'll actually see the text of all the things that we've actually done for that Friday build, and that will be a standard. Now, another thing that we're going to do, usually I don't like to tell you many things that we're going to do in the future, like promises. I'd rather show you things that you are actually 100% going to get. But you are definitely going to get in the next week or two the idea that when you do run the auto updater and it's completed its update, it will do two things new that we're done right now. It will verify all the files to make sure that you have every single file that you should have for that build and they're all downloaded correctly and they've been tested and all the hashtag, uh, hash, um, hash codes match and everything's great and wonderful. So that's one of the things. And the second thing is we're going to give you a button to relaunch Game Guru Max. So the idea is you don't have to then go back to the desktop and run the icon. You can actually just click a button and it'll just relaunch Game Guru Max as you might expect. 
And there's another little thing that has actually been put into this build. Um, it's just not really sexy, so I can't really show it to you. But one of the problems with an updater is an updater can't update itself because it's running. You know, the file is locked on the operating system. So it can't update of its many files that it updates its own file. Um, but there's a new system now in the software where the main game guru Max is responsible for updating that file. So the updater updates everything else, and then Game Guru Max has a special instruction which knows how to update the updater and goes on and updates the updater if there's an updated file for it. Using the word update quite a lot, but you kind of get the idea of the theme of this Wednesday's broadcast. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you, so you'll be able to see it in action on Friday. Um, now I'm going to switch over to the questions that I'm sure have been building up whilst I've been waffling on. And I should be able to bring that up and bring it full screen. Although we probably don't need it full screen. Let's have it. Um, let's have it like this. Yes. So you can see a little bit of uh, Game Guru Max. In fact, no matter where I put it, I'm going to hide the logo. Let's hide the logo and start at the top. So of course, any question, absolutely feel free to post any. Like I said um, in previous broadcast, my aim is to try to get these broadcasts to 15 minutes. Now that doesn't seem a lot of time, it certainly isn't for me when I start talking about a particular thing, um, but 50 minutes is a long time when you're sitting there watching a video that you're only half interested in. So just sticking to 15 minutes, nice bite-sized pieces of information, and it's a good discipline for me as well. So looking at the clock, we do have seven minutes left, which means, and looking at the size of the chat, I should be able to answer all the questions this time. So I actually complete my goal and answer all the questions, which would be really cool. So I'm just going to get to the first question. I'm looking for question marks. That allows me to scan through the live chat really quick. This is from Super Confident Man. Will the player be able to swim this time? The good news is we have added swimming to our death plan. So you, yes, you will be able to swim. Um, and my apologies for five years ago when the, <laughs> the mere sight of water killed the player stone dead. Um, wasn't really super realistic, was it? So, uh, yes, now you'll be able to walk, paddle, get up to your neck, or, and even go underwater. So you'll be able to have the things you would expect if you create a large body of water. And we're going to do more with water uh, with Game Guru Max as well. So it makes sense that you can have fun in there. If it's a big level with lots of water, you don't really want half of your level off bones to the player. So look out for swimming. Not saying it's going to be the best swimming simulator in the world. You'll certainly be able to navigate the waterways of your game level. Um, thanks for everyone who confirmed that my voice is coming through loud and clear. Um, here's another question from Maka Makai Makai Machai Machai Agapitov. I hope I got that rank right, right. Probably didn't. Got it wrong. Uh, how far is the development question mark? Can we compile games already? The development got you know quite a, a far way along and then we decided that it, it deserved a good redesign so we redesigned a lot of the stuff which then invalidated the stuff that we actually already done and we're going to redo it so it's better so in a way i'd say we've gone back about five steps so the development is not as far as long as say it would have been had we released in december um but at the current stage we're at what's called the development planning stage well, we've, gone, we've pretty much got all the designs now. Now we're just plotting out exactly how long all the individual tasks for those designs will take. And from that, we can then assign the necessary resources and start coming up with some clearer idea of our roadmap and how long things everything's going to take. And that's going really well, so I'm really pleased with that. And as you've probably seen from the, uh, the Friday builds, we've actually started on the coding, but doing things in the right order, making sure that the installer's solid, the auto-updater works, all the basic building blocks that you're going to need before you go any deeper, all of those are sorted early rather than later. And can we compile games already? If you mean can you save a standalone executable, technically yes. I mean, you'll find it here in the, uh, the temp menu because we've put that there so you still have access to those tools that you uh, had access to, say, in the last year's Beta 3. Um, but yeah, you, there's no particular reason to create a standalone executable at this stage. It's far, far, far too early. So there'd be nothing you could really do with the executable once you've created it. But technically you could. Um, most sensitive to DPI? 
No, the DPI that I was referring to from the last build was, was more about uh, the display aspects of DPI. So how big buttons are and the panels are on the screen based on your resolution, your scaling and the physical size of your monitor or, or laptop screen. That's how I refer to DPI. But yeah, sure, there is a DPI for most sensitivity as well. I'm assuming that was taken care of by the operating system and I've had no complaints so far. So if people are experiencing some weirdness in terms of most sensitivity based on the work we did with DPI, please let me know and we'll consider it a bug. Here's a question from GJLS Lee. Can you give me an approximate time for terrain expanse? That is, I presume, when we're going to get a bigger terrain. <laughs> Well, we're going to still work on the terrain and the basic tools of creating all the things that you want to do on the terrain. On the terrain, sorry. Um, but we are, at the same time as that, going to look at the terrain as an overall sort of node-based system, including the ability to expand it. But as to when you'll be able to see that, probably not for some time. I'm not going to show you the roadmap today, um, but there is a bit of a gap between what we're doing now and the stuff we've got planned in the short term and actually having a finished cool terrain system to present to you. So please, please, please don't hold your breath on that one. But we are looking at it and you will be able to expand the terrain in, in different ways. Um, so just going to skip past a few more things. Here's a question. Looks like a question from Retro Game Blog. Here's a request slash question I have in readiness for the end. Can we have a way to extract an item and keep it at the same height like in GG? Extract an item and keep it at the same height. Yeah, that seems pretty fundamental, doesn't it? I will make sure that the uh, the new object management system lets you do that. To not have that creates lots of problems, like creating a bridge over a valley. <laughs> you would never be able to line up all your bridge pieces. So I agree, that is an important... Um, and I'm sure you'll remind me three or four times before this development is over, and it will go in. Here's a question from Aaron Chase. Uh, would you consider re-enabling VR, even if it's just to view? I'd like to see my creations in VR for scale. Yeah, um, not sure about that. We kind of want to set a precedent that when we release something in a Friday build, it's basically complete. Um, or as complete as it says in our designs. And we have a lot of things that we want to add for VR before we would consider it complete. So to release it, in a half-baked state, you know, in, in addition to the fact that there might be some complaints that, oh, this VR is terrible, um, it also goes against what we wanted to do, which is sort of give you complete, fully-baked stuff rather than in-progress, half-baked, development related stuff. So I hope you understand the reasoning behind it, but certainly if all the community gang up on me and they want VR right now, then I may very well relent. <laughs> in fact, I probably will. So I'm just looking at the clock. I'm doing very well, but I just want to keep answering questions. So I'll make this the last two questions from unique people. So I've already asked, answered a question from Madland, super confident man. I'm looking for other questions. Someone who hasn't had a chance yet. Here's one from Subi and uh, Katarkis1971 question. Will Preben be implementing a way to alter shaders like we can in GG Classic in the effect back reloaded settings at FX file and change chromic abbreviation and cartoon shaders? There are no plans for version one for you to go in and create your own uh, shaders. That is what I'm going to say is the out of box experience. We're not expecting anyone to write shaders. Different question. Can I in any way, shape or form add my own custom shader? I think you've got more latitude on that because you may have the skills to create a shader, write it, test it, then compile it down to the blob file of whatever it is. And then the Wicked engine on which Game Guru Max is, is based in terms of the graphics engine could load in that shader to replace an existing shader that the engine uses. So I'm not ruling it out. I'm just saying it just won't be some simple process um, that can be done by anyone. You would really need to understand how to write sh and test shaders and then integrate it into the right part. The shaders used by the Wicked engine are quite fiendish. And so your shaders have to be equally fiendish. So it's likely as you're going to take those shaders, modify them, and replace the old shaders with your customised one, rather than writing one from scratch. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. But really we're hoping that the shaders that we provide will be more than sufficient for all the things that you want to do in Game Guru Max. So great to see more questions streaming in. I much appreciate it. But as I said right at the beginning, I want to keep this to 15 minutes and I have to 
resist the urge just to keep waffling on as is my custom. So I just want to show you one last screen which is this lovingly created piece of artwork to say thank you for watching and to remind you that there is a pre-order on right now where you can get 25% off and the benefit of that of course is to join in on testing the Friday builds as we release them. Um, we've got another live broadcast next Wednesday at 4pm GMT so certainly please tune in for that and hopefully I'll be able to reveal more of the software rather than just the announcement screen at the start of the software hiding all the juicy goodness behind it and I hope you enjoyed watching this. So until next Wednesday I shall bid thee adieu. Goodbye.